Our next guest is Brian Hewn. Brian is Director of Competitive Intelligence here at Oracle Cloud. Brian, great to have you today. Uh, I have a question for you. I'd like for you to share with the audience why Oracle Cloud VMware Solution has distinct advantages over other clouds. Eric, thanks for having me. Uh, there are many advantages to Oracle Cloud VMware Solutions, but none more distinct than reach, predictability, and security. So customers can find Oracle Cloud VMware Solutions in more locations than any other offerings, 22 commercial regions and five government regions. And speaking of government, um, Oracle Cloud VMware Solutions recently gained FedRAM High certification to support our public sector customers. As for predictability, it's the same VMware that customers operate on-prem. So when we say the same, we really mean the same. Unlike managed services, we don't layer on more automation that takes away the investments that the customer has made in their skill set, tools, and experience. And the full transfer of skills also means that we're empowering the partners to add values using the same people structure and the same processes that they have invested in. And as far as for security, customers own the policy and Oracle removes itself from the environment once Oracle Cloud VMware solution has been deployed. So for example, we don't have access to the customer security settings or their credentials after the cluster has been provisioned. So when you compare this to managed solutions, managed services, there are no security implications to worry about. So for Oracle Cloud VMware Solutions, the access is private and then it's entirely under the control of the customer. We talked about predictability and in the context of that, can a customer copy and paste, so to speak, an on-premises VMware state onto the Oracle Cloud VMware Solution and have their existing staff operate in an Oracle Cloud VMware Solution environment without any sort of retraining? Uh, yes, so when we say the same, we literally mean the same. It's the same VMware implementation on top of Oracle Cloud hardware, secured, managed, controlled, and operated by the customer's existing VMware staff. I mean, our model is so VMware-centric that it can be operated by an engineer already familiar or experienced with VMware products without additional retraining. As I mentioned earlier, we don't layer on more automation that devalues our customers and our partners' investments in skills, tools, and experience. So the full transfer of skills also means that the migration of the VMware estates on-prem to the cloud can be done very quickly. For example, customers can deploy a three-node cluster in any Oracle cloud regions in less than three hours. If they wanna add more nodes, it can be done in minutes. One key feature I want to mention that, that's making this possible is the built-in support for layer two networking. So to offer a true VMware environment, we build layer two support directly into our cloud to run VMware as is. This means a couple of things, a couple of benefits. One is that we can ensure the performance SLAs are met due to this networking isolation. Number two, the on-prem VMware apps that needs the layer two networking to run into public cloud can run in the Oracle cloud without reconfigurations. You know, Eric, we talk to a lot of customers and uh, VMware customers, and they tell us that they cannot not tolerate any risk when moving to the cloud. They need to maintain the operation and the management of their native environment as closely as possible with as little modification as possible. So if I'm a VMware customer, the question I would ask is, which offering would most likely to have the smallest learning curve, require the least effort in standing up, and provide the smoothest of migration? And all of that is in a very predictable sense. Correct. Okay, that's great. Thank you. All right, uh, one last question. So earlier we spoke about control, and you kind of hinted at that. Give us your perspective on control and what it means for customers and their partners. That's a really good question. So we, like I said, we talk to a lot of customers and nearly all the enterprise IT teams we talk to, they want to retain full control over their VMware environments. They want the option to edit the vSAN settings, browse the data stores, 
upload files to it or even delete files from it, just like their on-prem VMware environments. They also do not want to upgrade the software version on someone else's schedule. Why? They might have database and apps that are certified on previous version of VMware. And they wanna test them thoroughly for compatibility with existing apps and configurations first. So with Oracle Cloud VMware solution, customers have full access to the host at the root level. This means they can change the settings down at the ESXi level. And the updates, the software updates to all the versioning patches are done on their timeline, not Oracle's. So this means that customers who are running a particular version of VMware on-prem can match that to the version that's running in the Oracle Cloud. Most customers, everyone we talk to have a diverse portfolio of applications, some legacy, some new, some old. And only by giving them complete control of their environment that a smooth migration can happen. All right, thanks. Well, there you have it. Brian, thank you so much for being here today. You stay safe and we'll talk soon. Thanks for having me. Next up, we have Wei Wang, Marketing Director for the VMware Cloud Business Unit. Wei leads the marketing strategy, planning, and execution of VMware Cloud Hyperscaler Solutions. Wei, welcome to today's program. I'd like to discuss our alliance. May I please ask you to share your perspectives on the VMware Oracle journey? Eric, thank you very much for inviting me. It's a pleasure. We have a great deal of synergy between Oracle and VMware, and I want to highlight three aspects. To start, we have tens of thousands of mutual customers around the globe who have Oracle workloads on VMware. So as those customers migrate to the cloud, there's no better platform for them than Oracle Cloud VMware solution. And second, the Oracle Cloud VMware solution was jointly developed between our two engineering teams leading up to GA. And we're still working very closely to continue to optimize this solution. And last but not the least, it's the differentiator of this global availability of all Oracle Cloud VMware solution. It was launched in 18 regions when it was GA, and now it's 22 regions around the globe, plus five US government regions with fast RAM, high and DISA impact life, level five accreditation. This is tremendous amount of growth in such a short period of time which is great news for our customers. Thank you, Wei. So from the VMware perspective, when would your customer choose the Oracle Cloud VMware solution or other VMware clouds? Well, Eric, that's a very good question. VMware would like to provide our customers a variety of cloud services choices. So the customers can really choose the best option for their needs. But let's set that aside. Let's talk about Oracle Cloud VMware solution. It is based on a bare metal cloud compute platform. It is important that we, knew, we know that Oracle Cloud VMware solution is customer managed. Oracle has given the customer full control as super user with root access to the environment so they can customize it to meet their needs. An Oracle Cloud VMware solution does not have any ingress or egress charges for fast connect or availability domains within region. It scales up to 64 host clusters and have that security first mind to build in tenant isolation. I also optimize for layer two networking in which is very crucial for VMware workloads. So those are definitely differentiators for our customers. Well, yeah, I love the way that you talk about our two companies collaborating together to develop the Oracle Cloud VMware solution. What's special about the VMware software in our offering? So Oracle Cloud VMware solution is a VMware Cloud verified offering. And this is very unique because only 5% of our 4,500 plus cloud partners have this designation. And the majority of them have a cloud verified designation are only applied to a few data centers. So it's important to know the way it goes is a technology validation that the partner have to run entire VMware SDTC stack within the data center, compute, storage, and networking. 
So cloud verified destination goes to the partner for a specific data center. The fact that Oracle has verified it in all 22 plus five government uh, US regions in which is truly unique. One last question. You know, we've done a lot of marketing work together. We've created a lot of assets to surround the Oracle Cloud VMware solution. Tell me what a couple of your favorite marketing activities or the marketing content is that we have in the marketplace today. Oh, absolutely, Eric. We definitely have that, right? We recently collaborated to publish a joint blog that by your own Clay McGorick. This is published on CIO.com. So if you search um, providing enterprises with a fast pass to the cloud, the blog article should really come up top uh, on the search. And also we uh, recorded a YouTube video uh, with Clay, as well as Mark Lohmeyer, who is the senior vice president and general manager um, for VMware, titled Oracle Cloud and VMware Solving Today's Cloud Challenges. So I would invite the audience here to watch on the VMware YouTube channel. Thank you, Wei. It was really great to have you here today. Uh, we appreciate your time. You take care and we'll talk soon. Absolutely. I'm here with Kevin Kelly. Kevin is my colleague here at Oracle who's responsible for VMware partner recruitment. Kevin, it's great to have you on today. I'd like to ask you why VMware solution partners are critical for success for Oracle and our customers. Thanks for having me here today, Eric. Oracle recognizes that VMware reaches its over 500,000 customers globally through their solution partner ecosystem. As much as 70% of the workloads are managed by these VMware solution partners. Together, Oracle and VMware share over 100,000 customers. It's essential to Oracle that our customers have the best experience with well-planned and executed solutions from the combined skills and services from both Oracle and from the VMware partner community. It's good to know, Kevin. Tell us more about what we're building for the VMware solution partner community. Yeah, I know I'm really excited to, to recruit the VMware partners to add Oracle VMware Cloud Solutions to their portfolio. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's architecture allows me to have conversations with the best virtualization firms around. These partners really appreciate that they don't need to reinvest to train their engineers on how to work with VMware on Oracle's cloud. These top partners, as a result, already meet the advanced requirements for VMware capabilities for our Oracle Cloud VMware solutions. We work closely with these integrators, aligning them with our sales, solution architects, and technical engineers. Together, customers can be confident that the best technologists are working closely to understand their requirements, build out a strategy, and plan to deliver what we believe is the best solution for VMware on cloud. What are your parting thoughts to Oracle VMware customers and VMware partners? I wanted to say to current and future Oracle Cloud VMware solution customers, we deliver and will continue to invest in the best platform for VMware solutions running in the cloud. Let us know who your VMware solution partner is. We'll ensure that they have the tools to support you and your interest in adding Oracle VMware cloud solutions to your cloud strategy. And separately, I'd like to say to the VMware partners, please contact us. We'll take the opportunity to walk you through Oracle Cloud and understand how Oracle Cloud VMware services can extend your customer's IT budget. Our next guest is Keith Townsend, principal at the CTO Advisor. Keith is a technology management consulting and management data center technologies. His area of expertise includes virtualization, networking, and storage, and he advises Fortune 500 organizations. Keith, I'm so glad you could be here with us for today's program. Thanks for having me, Eric. Keith, you advise your clients on solving challenging problems with technology. Why is Oracle Cloud infrastructure an important cloud platform? I think the theme of our conversation is going to be people, process, technology. Oracle does not ignore the people and process side of technology. One of uh, my fellow analysts said that we ignore the, I think, the truth around the speed in which enterprise technologies accept new technologies. And we also ignore the 
uh, long tail of how long it takes us enterprise IT folks to get the old technologies out of our infrastructure. I think OCI embraces that entire life cycle of enterprise IT reality. Keith, when you advise your clients, what are you hearing about their opinions on the Oracle Cloud VMware solution? Well, you know, I like to call the Oracle Cloud VMware solution compared to the other uh, solutions that we analyzed in our research, the VMware Cloud for VMware experts or expert mode VMware vSphere. It is simply VMware vSphere. If you want to take a MIB and install it on the root of the host, you can do that if you want. Uh, it is vSphere kind of at the speed of your organization. Once customers have replatformed their VMware estates onto Oracle Cloud, we see them planning their next move to further define a hybrid cloud for data sovereignty and compliance reasons. Also, our customers are keen to replatform their virtual desktop infrastructure environments to Oracle Cloud VMware solution. Here's the question. What are you and your clients' perspectives on these typical use cases? I think it's ironic that the pandemic has forced us to embrace remote work culture and kind of the elasticity that, that's needed in, I don't want to call them legacy approaches because VDI is still very much a modern part of IT. But as we look forward to the semiconductor shortage, it's just an unknown next one or two years, how many employees are gonna be working from home? How many will new, need new desktops but not be able to get them refreshed? How can we centralize those resources, but how do we make it elastic? And simply taking your VMware VDI landscape, placing it in a public cloud and having that elasticity that comes with public cloud resources really hel helps to defeat some of these uh, external challenges presented on what has been traditionally a very stable environment and when it comes to need in VDI. Why is the Oracle Cloud VMware solution interesting? You know, there's lots of clouds out there, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and they all have solutions for VMware. So when you think of public cloud in general, you think of, and I think this audience would get appreciation for this loss of control the version, you know, let's, let's pick on, it's not a pick on, it's a horses for courses argument. Let's take the VMware cloud uh, on AWS solution as an example. It moves at the pace of AWS. If you don't care about what version of vSphere, vCenter is running in the public cloud, then you know what, that solution kind of marches on for you. But if you have regulatory challenges, if you have change management, mission critical apps, certifications that you just cannot bypass and just wave away with a magical hand, you need to control the pace at which your VMware environment is changed. Oracle Cloud gives you that capability. The team at Oracle just recently announced uh, support for vSphere 7.0 in a traditional cloud environment. You just wake up one day and your whole la landscape is on 7.0. Oracle gives you kind of the knob to say, based on our operating model, we'll go to vSphere 7.0 from vSphere 6.7 update three when the customer is ready to make that change. Without the customer doing the engineering work to even make that change. From your experience speaking with a variety of companies, what should customers consider when deciding which cloud is ideal for their VMware environments? When it comes to VMware environments, Specifically, I'm thinking operating model. We've had 15 solid years of building enterprise grade data centers on top of VMware vSphere technologies. We've built workloads around the concept of VM, VM over provisioning, et cetera, and the ability to build an ecosystem of support around that. If you, and I'm not just thinking uh, you know, MIBs and all the technical things. I'm talking about operating model. So the way that you operate the your business, the way you approve changes, the way you approve upgrades to systems or software development or provisioning, all of that needs to be taken into account when you're considering your clouds. You can't just simply take a VM in the private data center and migrate it to a 
OCI VM uh, and expect the same operating model, if that makes any sense. The control plane is different. The pricing is different. So total cost of ownership, TCO, is a big concern. If I have over provisioned my storage, my compute, and my networking in my private data center, and I just lift and shift that into the public cloud, my costs change dramatically. When you're considering VMware cloud solutions, you have to take your operating model into consideration, your cost model into uh, consideration, and your overall application compatibility into consideration. Keith, again, thank you very much for being here today. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me, Eric.